What's up everybody, it is Austin here from Gaming Entertainment Network I'm bringing you a new series of videos um, This is going to be focused on reviewing like sort of an amalgamation of reviewing and first impression um, videos of free to play games um, mostly on Steam but you know also you know games that free to play games that, are, that aren't on Steam that are worth playing um, the first one we're taking a look at today is Warface um, this is a game by Crytek uh, it's a first person shooter and it's in the cry engine and so uh, first off what we're gonna look at is just the settings that you have available to you um, controls pretty self-explanatory gameplay here you can do your crosshair um, you know things like that video settings uh, you know they're not you know bet the best but you know you have enough here to work with um, you got everything on high um, resolution I'm doing 720 for this video um, just because it's for YouTube whatever um, you know full screen anti-aliasing vertical sync motion blur adaptive quality which not entirely sure what that is my guess is it scales up or down based on how it's running at the time I don't know that's completely speculative I haven't even looked into that um, and then icons you know whatever audio your basic settings here um, I like that it has master volume that always makes me happy because it makes streaming so much easier to just turn all that down um, and then your settings here for uh, the voice chat inside the game um, and then here nothing there for social pretty much okay uh, this game has co-op versus and survival um, for the uh, the sake of transparency I've only done co-op um, have not done versus so I can't really speak to the pay to win aspect of the game judging off of the shop doesn't seem that way to me we go in here look at this stuff here um, an important thing to note is the, uh, the money here this can be earned without spending uh, I'm sorry hang on this this can be earned by um, you know everything can be earned without spending money uh, there are one-time missions that you can do or training or whatever that you can do uh, to, to get the currency um, so we, uh, you know a lot of games have that though that doesn't really speak to being paid to win or not let me just go back in here uh, you have outfits and stuff this um, you know they have perks to them the permanent stuff you know that that I've seen it's there's no huge advantage so I, I and a lot of this is only gonna be useful in co-op or survival anyway definitely not versus I don't think um, so I don't I wouldn't consider this pay to win um, but we're gonna jump right into a match I'm going to, to you know to play one match um, maybe not even the whole thing I just enough for me to explain this game for you to get a peek at it see what it is see what it's all about um, one thing I will say about this game is that it is using the cry engine um, pretty demanding uh, you, you have certain games that people play like they're guilty pleasures that you know people play because they love the game and then you have other games that almost seem like they are best served as a benchmark um, you know it's a game that you want to play just to see if your computer can run it and to see how high it can run it um, I would call this one of those games because you know uh, Crytek they're the ones that make the crisis games um, known for being pretty demanding um, and this is the same engine so uh, you know it's a modified version of the engine but um, so I think this game is best served as a benchmark uh, if if you hop into this game and you're like yep this is my game and then freaking play it but uh, from my experience with this sure there's there's quite a bit of fun to be had but I, I wouldn't I wouldn't consider this for a um, you know to be your go-to game to get your FPS fix uh, one thing I can say about it that it seems like it's becoming harder and harder to find games like this is at least for the co-op it's a game you can pop in with some friends and uh, and kill some enemies excuse me um, 
it's a, g a good co-op game. That's, I mean, and holy crap, I'm sucking though. Um, and some games don't need, don't, don't need to be more than that. Um, and that's what I found with this. It's a, it's a pretty solid co-op game if you just want to hop in and kill some enemies with your friends or whatever. Holy cow. I just brought up the Steam overlay. Um, uh, I'm sorry if there's any hiccups in this. I am playing this without a capture card. Holy crap, what setting are they playing on? I, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm not representing this game well at all. This has got to be on a different difficulty setting. Let me help this guy up. Um, and I'm playing at 720p. I, I could play higher, but I don't have a capture card. I'm capturing this, you know, just on the computer. Um, and I tried doing it at 1080p. didn't work out so good. Um, but, oh my god. Okay. But, if you want to get an idea of if, you're, uh, if your computer can play this, um, to give you an idea, I'm, I've got a, a Core i3-4130 uh, processor. Um, and that's, that's a 2.9 gigahertz uh, dual core. Um, I've got 8 gigs of DDR3 and it's uh, running a, a 2 gigabyte, an NVIDIA GeForce 2 gigabyte card. It's I'm running on Alienware Alpha, so it's you know it's custom made for the a, a graphics card custom made for the Alpha. They say it it's closest. Um, I guess comparison would be like a, a souped up uh, 750 Ti. Um, that's what I've heard. It's built on the uh, 860 architecture, though. Um, holy crap! Is, can I see the difficulty of this? Because I did one of these earlier and it was just friggin' butter. Like, just as smooth as can be. Um, and it could be because I'm talking, I don't know. I'm not a good multitasker. But, uh... I'm able to play this if I'm not recording a video. I'm able to play this, everything on Ultra at 1080p, and it runs just as smooth as can be. Um... You know, I just took it down to record, like I said. Uh, so if you're wondering if you could play this, I, you know, I briefly played this on a really crappy laptop. Um, I don't even remember what it was. It was, it was a while back, though. It was just, it, it was a bad laptop. It was probably, it was a crappy HP laptop, probably 2010 um, model or whatever. Um, had four gigs of RAM, really crappy card. Could barely play World of Warcraft, if that gives you any frame of reference. Um, don't even know the specs. It was just because I, I, my other computer had broke, um, and I had had to play on that for a little while. And I tried this out. Um, oh, I'm out of ammo. Nice. But it played on that just barely. So, you know, if you have a computer that, oh, son of a butthole, I'm dead. I just threw a grenade in here. Yep. That's what happens when you throw grenades in a room. Um, so if you're playing on a on a pretty old, like a you know, five year old computer, you're not gonna be able to play this probably. Um, but uh, if you got a new shiny new graphics card, or you know did some big upgrade to your uh, computer, um, definitely definitely check it out. It, it, like like I said at the beginning, it, it serves as a pretty good benchmark. Um, and if you know co op shootings are kind of thing, great. Uh, versus um, could be good. I don't know. Uh, survival, that's survival, you know, if you like Call of Duty, you like, um, you know, the zombies and everything, probably a good substitute. Uh, so yeah, this was my first, um, review slash first impression of a free-to-play game on Steam. If you like it, and you like the video, you know, hit like, hit share, um, subscribe, that'd be awesome. Um, and if you want to see more gaming news, not just free-to-play stuff, because that's, you know, free-to-play is not everything, um, check out GamingEntertainmentNetwork.com. And uh, keep it tuned here on Jen for, uh, for more gaming news and entertainment. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.